I'm certainly grateful to station WJZ TV for this opportunity to speak to the viewers of the Baltimore area. I hope you have witnessed uh, an interesting football game, as I'm sure you have. I suppose it's my role here to tell you a little something about Montgomery Junior College. Surprisingly enough, there are many similarities between Montgomery Junior College and Baltimore Junior College. Both institutions were founded about the same time. Our student bodies are not too different in size and makeup. The curriculum patterns of the two institutions are not too different. Like Baltimore Junior College, we offer both transfer and terminal curriculums. The transfer curriculums being those that are designed for students who expect to continue on into four-year programs in colleges and universities and terminal curriculums, which are designed for those students who expect to enter directly into full-time employment upon completion of their program at the junior college. This fall at Montgomery Junior College, we have about 2,400 students. The college operates from 7.30 in the morning until 10 o'clock at night, five days a week. Like Baltimore Junior College, I am sure, uh, our campus is too small, our facilities are overcrowded, and like Baltimore Junior College, we too are involved with a rather sizable building program. Montgomery Junior College has had its own campus and a full-time day and evening program since 1950. We have outgrown one campus and are now deep in planning a second complete campus uh, to be established at Rockville, Maryland for a maximum student body of about 5,000 students. On our old campus at Coma Park, we have built, in addition to the facilities already there, a science building uh, and a new library within the last four years. And we now have on the drawing boards for the Tacoma Park campus uh, a new gymnasium and an addition to the library. The library is an interesting case in point as to the rapidity with which junior colleges have grown, uh, both in the United States uh, and in particular in Maryland. In 1958, when we designed our library, we built it as large as we could possibly conceive ever of needing, and yet this year there are many hours of the day when there is not a free seat available in that library. So in many regards, the junior colleges of Maryland, in terms of their programs and their student bodies, are very similar, and all, I'm convinced, are making a very significant contribution to the higher education of the young people of Maryland. Now to tell you something about the student program here and to, to be told from the student point of view, uh, I take great pleasure in introducing to you the president of our student council, whose name is Bob Maddox. Bob? Thank you, Dean Dale. Well, along the dean's line of the similar problems which we have here at Montgomery, we have the same problems, basically, that all junior colleges in this state have. Our size is small, and the number of students we have is large. This presents many, many problems when it comes to planning our social and extracurricular activities. We have just completed a well-rounded homecoming program, which, in, which included a weekend uh, of activities commenced with a dance, commencing with a dance at one of the local country clubs. We have tried to get most of our activities off campus this year because of our size and our overcrowded conditions here. Our student government is made up of approximately 16 students who are elected representatives from their, from their respective classes and the class presidents. Our student government is broken into committee work. We certainly have enjoyed being up here today at this um, MJC-BJC game, and we thank BJC very much.